Hey guys, and welcome back to yet another episode. On the show today, we're taking a look at Turbo Outrun, and might as well since we've already reviewed Outrun 1 and 2. You see, Turbo Outrun was actually kind of an expansion to the original arcade hardware, and even though it is technically an expansion, the game itself is entirely different than the original game that it's based on. Though the gameplay is definitely very different from the original game, the premise stays pretty true to the original's formula. In this game, you drive from one side of the country to the other, but unlike the original game, you aren't really given a choice as far as which path to go. In the original Outrun, you could choose to go left or right and change up the route in which you would eventually reach your goal. In Turbo Outrun, it's all one straight shot all the way across the country. So you may be asking yourself, okay then, well why is the game called Turbo Outrun? And it's very simple. The gimmick in Turbo Outrun is of course the turbo button and turbo feature in the game. While driving your car, you have a button that you can hit at any time. Well, not at any time, whenever it's available, which you'll see up at the top of the screen to go ahead and kick your turbo into gear, which will cause you to fly down the road and you have to be very careful when using it because if you use it while you're turning, it almost guarantees a crash. You may be saying to yourself while watching this footage, you know what, this really doesn't look that much different from OutRun. As a matter of fact, it looks pretty similar. Now, it does look pretty similar, but the gameplay in Turbo OutRun feels entirely different than that of the original. It's most noticeable in the way that your actual vehicle controls while you drive, but on top of that, the way that the road reacts to your car is very different than it is in the original OutRun. There are also far more obstacles that you'll have to deal with in Turbo OutRun than in the original, which basically just consisted of the other cars on the road. In Turbo OutRun, you'll have to deal with not only that, but also police that'll chase you through entire sections, oil slicks on the road that can actually be set on fire by using your turbo, which is pretty awesome, and anything else they can just throw on the road in front of you, so you have to be on your toes almost the entire time you play the game. In Turbo Outrun, you'll actually do four stages at a time before reaching a checkpoint. The checkpoint will give you a breather for a bit, and another cool feature about the game, you can upgrade your car. When you end up going into your checkpoint, it'll give you the choice between upgrading your engine, your tires, or your turbo, each with its own obvious advantage. One of my favorite things about this game is the rival driver that you'll always be having to keep up with who will be chasing you down at the same time and he actually drives the white Porsche that you'll see starting next to you at the beginning of every section. One thing I always thought was really funny about Turbo Outrun is that if you drive really recklessly, say you're just not careful and crash into a bunch of stuff during one of the sections, when you get to the next one, at times, your female companion will actually get out of your car and go sit in your rival's car, which I always thought was just a really neat touch. Graphically, I think Turbo Outrun looks pretty good, but at the same time, I think that the graphical style actually contributes to how hard the game can be at times. What I mean by that is that there seems to be a lot less of the road that you can actually see in front of you in comparison to the original game, and I think that's because it looks a little flatter and you can't see so far out into the distance. Even still, the game does look fantastic. There's always so much going on in this game, sometimes it can be kind of hard to keep track of. The stages themselves all look great, and there's always lots of background detail to take in. And, at the same time, each one looks very different. And come on, this is an OutRun game, so music and sound is really not going to be a surprise to anyone here. Turbo Outrun has some really, really great music, and as a matter of fact, contains one of my favorite songs of all time from the Outrun universe, which is Keep Your Heart 
another track that can actually be heard in OutRun 2 slash OutRun 2006. While the arcade version of Turbo OutRun is an absolute blast and should be loaded up on whichever emulator you choose, it did get a home port on the Mega Drive, which wasn't released here in the US. And don't worry, you're not missing much, the port in and of itself was not very good. I ended up going to the trouble of ordering it from overseas and was severely disappointed when I got it. It feels almost nothing like the arcade. So there you have it. Turbo Outrun for the arcade is a great game and a welcome addition to the Outrun family, but do yourself a favor and go ahead and skip the Sega Genesis slash Mega Drive port. As always, guys, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for watching, subscribing, and yes, even commenting. And until next time, stay classic. Congratulations!